Hi everyone, so let's talk about other basic certifications. We already got a JavaScript basic. Now uh, let's see the rest APIs. I think this would be easy and quick. Okay, proceed. Okay, there are two questions. Let's start. We need to go through one by one. First of all, understand them. We have time 1 hour 29 minutes. That is more than enough, I think. Okay, too much of description. Let's see how easy we can crack this. Okay, REST API total goals by a particular team. In this challenge, the REST API contains the information to access. Okay, this, this looks like a particular mock API they have given. Let's go to the sample input. Okay, we are passing team name and the year. And it is returning the team Barcelona in particular year. The, I mean, we are, we are looking for the number of goals which are done by Barcelona team in 2011. Okay. Okay, fine. Here there are two APIs looks like team one, like uh, there are two set of APIs. If Barcelona is a home team or Barcelona is a visiting means going to another country and playing against another team. Right, so there are two APIs, team two, team one. It returns the data associated with the matches where team one is the home team and team one is the visiting team. Okay, and what we are returning? Your task is to get the total number of goals scored by a given team in a given year. Okay, so in this question, we need to first see what this particular API is returning. How can we see this? Okay, the response contains this data. Let's say data. Data is an array of object containing the match information and match information contains this. Okay. So this look like uh, hitting this API two times where team one is Barcelona and team two is Barcelona for a particular year and get this team one goals and team two goals. When the team one is Barcelona, collect all the team one goals. When team two is Barcelona, collect team two goals. Okay, this can be a little fun. Let's see. So what we need to do is we need to have a counter and this is where we need to add the code. And we are going to see, let's say this is the counter which is starting with zero. and how to make an API call? First of all, let's try to understand it. We cannot use axios and all. So we can simply use, this is already a sync function. So we can do await fetch and the URL. Right, so our URL can be simple. Let's see. This is, I copied from here. Here we are passing year. And uh, here we need to pass two things, year and the team. Because we have the team, same team uh, we are passing as a team one and team two, so year and this is another is a team one. When Barcelona was a home team, then how many goals this particular team has done? We are passing team and year. Okay, and how we get the response? Okay, here, let's see, because it's a paginated API. So first of all, we, need, we can get the total number of pages, okay? Once we get total number of pages, we can iterate, okay? This particular API is going to return 20 pages. We need to iterate uh, 20 pages one by one. So in the first API call, we can just get how many pages this API is going to respond? Await response dot JSON. This is how we make a fetch call and get the result. Here we are going to get total 
pages and uh, we are going to get it from the result now if total pages now we need to we know that tot total pages are coming as 20 in the response that means we need to iterate it 20 times to get the count right so again this is tricky let's see we can run a for loop const count of we need to create a array I mean just an empty array so we can use array dot from and the length of this array is going to be the total pages okay and we need to start every count from i plus one I mean I want to pass this page number right so we can have we can just increment the index by one so the count value will start from one to the page count 20 and then I can write the same code again here we are making the response and we are adding another property P is equal to count okay here we got the result inside result we will get the data data contains the array property I didn't like the design I mean there are many too many calls but it is to test your knowledge now this data data contains an array we can run a loop again const item item of data which is an array and we can just have we already have this counter property okay so counter property and counter plus number of because we need to convert this can be a string just for safe side we can count it and here we are passing team one so item dot team one goal team one goals okay increase the counter now same thing we have to iterate for team two goals but the variables will be different here because it's the same code base response result one response one and we can call it because total pages we don't want to repeat so what should we do here let's convert it into pages result dot total pages and we can just pass the pages and here we can use this because same variable we can't have in the same function it's like not a good practice here we will be doing team 2 team 2 pages count and team 2 goals and finally once everything is done result 1 response 1 result 1 just check the variable names because the const same const variable we cannot have twice then we are making a call response counter and finally we are returning the counter so counter we start with zero here we are increasing the counter with the team one goals team two goals first let's run this if there is any error or warning fetch is not defined how do we use fetch here So we use Axios or window dot fetch because it's a node.js environment window object will not be there so I need to switch to axios.get let's see if I can get axios.get or we need to make an HTTP call
Oh, that's good. Uh, I mean, the, our code is now passing, so that's good news. And now we can run the test also. Let's see. So Exeus, I mean, they are providing the library. When I do the require Exeus, it worked. That, that was unexpected. And here we have a good news. All the available test cases are passing. That is very good, okay? So this is a simple API call. I mean, just call the API, get the pagination length, create the array and call that API that number of times, get the team one goal and get the team two goals and just return the counter, okay? Now the second API, stay and submit this. Okay, now we already know this is also kind of making API call and we can use Axios for this. Okay, what it is? So here the input is we are passing the year. Okay, in that particular year, I mean it's kind of same. For example, get request uh, for a particular year. You need to call all the pay, all the API calls by passing the page number one two three up to n, and in this challenge, the REST API contains information about the football matches, the provided API queries, matches team by year. The task is to get the number of matches by a given year and they didn't draw. That means the both teams scored the same set of goals. Okay. So this is again a kind of same API, but in this API, we are not passing the team and a lot of other information. So first of all, let's get the axios before it start throwing errors. Axios and get number of draws. So we are going to use the same code. Can I switch there to get the code? Let's leave it, we can write it. So here we need to get the we can have the counter as a variable same and then const response await exios.get again we are going to call one api and based on that we will get the page count and then we will hit this api that number of times const result equal to response dot data and here we can get the total pages. Now this should be a little bit, little easy because we have done already the same set of exercise and we will run a loop const count of array dot from here we can just pass the length property. Length property means I need the array length array length and here we can pass the method that I wanted to increase. I wanted to start it from i plus 1. That means the value will start from 1 to the count. And then again we can make a API call. This is the same API call. The only thing is here we will add the page also. Page equal to dollar count is starting from page number one const response dot data so this is going to give us our res result and from the result we need to access the data property so here const item of because response dot data this is giving us the whole object from the result again we need to get the data const item and here we need to see if uh, item dot team one goals is same as item dot team two goals if that is the case counter plus plus and if everything is done return counter okay so 
this is our logic i mean it is now easy because we already have done the another problem assignment of constant variable as forms let's say where it is breaking okay here we can get axios dot get response dot data let's see the full view and see response okay axios dot get we got result inside result we get total pages this is the the four of loop we are running Exios dot get we are passing the count with here again we got the response dot data so 45 okay this is the problem counter there is nothing like count counter plus plus okay let's see this now it is building the code and trying to get the output okay no output this should return some value time limit exceeded let's see when you are passing here now let's try to read the statement if we did something wrong year equal to year football matches and then is equal to the count okay length is total pages we can just try to do console.log maybe because the, the response length is very heavy that's why the total pages uh, is heavy then it is making too many calls because currently also it is making too many calls debug output is 196 that is total page length okay let's run the tests okay some test cases are passing that means whatever the logic we have written is correct i mean okay most of them are time limit exceeded something is not correct then we are passing const count of array dot from const response response dot data I mean this is returning the response everything looks correct to me this is returning array and from there response dot result dot data is an array and we are getting the item so item dot team one goals and team two goals this also looks correct if both are equals and both are strings so triple equals is fine counter it's just like this is taking too much time we can run all the tests and we are done i mean nothing is failing it's just like uh, it is taking too much time to execute if there is a input length is smaller than our test cases will pass we will just submit it and we are done because this is something which is set up from the environments we cannot change it we can just hide this and we can return the exact counter value which is expected from this function and submit this we are done okay thanks everyone